Now we're going to speak about a project that is um, really about the rehabilitative process of the prison service and we are speaking about Beyond Bars Inmates Art Display. With me this morning is the OIC Programs and Industry Administrative Officer Krishna Bidesi and with me as well is Superintendent of Prisons Programs and Industry Ludes Albino Jacob. Good morning and welcome. Good morning and thanks for having us. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for joining us this morning. Um, this is something, you know, when I was reading up the information this morning, it, was, it just struck me at once, you know, because many times a lot of people think that the prisons are for punishment, but rather it should be something for rehabilitation that, you know, people who had committed crimes and such to have the opportunity to, um, you know, well, of course, pay for what they have done, mm -hmm. but also be rehabilitated and then go back into society if then if they don't have such like a life sentence and such you know so um um yeah so the inmate art display project um that's that's very interesting so tell me a little bit more about it how did it come about well um we have a lot of talent within our system and the prison system just rightly as you said it's not about just locking them up and throwing away the key um, we are about rehabilitation and ensuring that our clients are equipped when they re-enter into, into society. But these are our clients, these are um, our clients who are involved in this art exhibition, are uh, mostly lifers. Their sentence have been committed, commuted to life. So this brings out their talent. All right, because um, they are interested in a whole lot of different things. And the art exhibition is one of the um, initiatives that we have decided to go forward with. Um, we have our inmate, our client, Aladdin Mohammed, and he is a well um, rounded individual. He is the one who started the art. And we have the, the Raja Yoga, Mr. K, who came in and decided that she would champion them. So she's our patron, the, the, our client's patron, and she has put in a whole lot in this event. This art exhibition is our 10th oh. art exhibition. It started in 2009. We have 10 inmates who are involved in the art, um, nine of whom are artists and one portrait um, specialist. Wow. So we are looking forward to this great event. It will be held at the Atrium Long Circular Mall, and it is from the 6th to the 10th. Oh, so it starts tomorrow? Yeah. Yes, it does. It and um, is there a time frame within which it will be, the art will be displayed? Um, it is from 10 a.m. in the morning. 10 a.m. to 6 right. p.m. each day. <coughs> wow. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, over the 10 years, because this is, well, it's not a new program as I'm learning no, now. No. Um, how has it gone over the years? How has it been received by the public? Well, it is, it's one of the uh, uh, most looked forward to events at Long Circular Mall. Really? Because a lot of people pass through there and um, it has been quite successful. The inmates have sold uh, thousands of dollars. So, so, the, so the art is actually for sale, isn't it? Yes, it is for, for sale. Uh, we have, uh, as Mr. Jacob said, we have uh, 10 artists that would have work on display this year with a total of uh, 83 pieces, Wow. 53 of them being new work. And uh, it is sold to the public uh, because uh, what, what this uh, art uh, exhibition really does is help us with our, um, the industry part of what we do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so I, I have to ask, um, you know, the funds that are received mm -hmm. by the art being sold, what happens with it? All right, well, that money is uh, usually divided into three parts. One third goes back to the artist. The second third is to buy materials to do new work. And the final third goes to a charitable project. That is, that is amazing. Yeah. You know, so the, the artists themselves, they, they're able to use these funds to pretty much improve their daily lives. Yes, because they have access to the money even though they are in prison. Right. They have access to the money if they have uh, personal needs and so on. Or right. That kind of thing, they can access the money to use. Yeah, that's, that's very, yeah. very good. You know, so that you know, there's a way for them to earn even while they yes. are... Yes, because you see, we want to ensure that when people leave the prison system and go back out into society, they are employable, 
and they could become employed as well. Definitely, definitely. Well, that, that's another that's another big topic there. You yeah. know, um, for those who uh, go back into society mm -hmm. after being incarcerated, yeah. after they've, they've been released, um, you know, what it is like, you know, for them, you know, to become employed. What's the what's the statistics that are available? Um, yeah. You know, um, on yeah. the employment of former inmates and such. Well, it's usually a challenging experience for a lot of people leaving the prison system and going back out into society. Some of them they don't have the kind of uh, uh, support that they need to, in order to uh, make sure that they have successful reentries. So that our work behind prison walls is not just about uh, keeping people in the system based on what the court has dictated, but also to train and retrain in some uh, instances and prepare them so that when they go back out there, they could find something meaningful to do. Um, not just to improve themselves, but to contribute to national development. Definitely, definitely. And just let's recap on the event um, specifics one more time. Uh, so it will be at It will be at the atrium of the Long Circular Mall. Right. Right. It opens tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Uh, the featured speaker will be uh, the Minister of National Security, um, uh, the Archbishop of Fort Spain, Reverend Charles Gord, uh, he is also expected to speak at the event, and it's going to be running from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. each day. So we want to invite members of the public to come out, and uh, I'm sure that they would see something that they would be interested in purchasing. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. And, we, and earlier we saw some of the artwork there displayed on the screen. Um, you know, and as you said, there are 83 uh, yes. piece submissions this year yeah. by the various artists. Yeah, that 53 are of those are new pieces. Wow. Yeah. You know, so it's definitely something to look forward to, and it, it is tomorrow at Long yes. Circular Mall. So yes, I want to thank is. you both for joining us this morning. Uh, Krishna Bidesi, YC Programs and Industry Administrative Officer, and Ludes Albino Jacob, Albino Jacob, yes. uh, Superintendent of Prisons, Programs and Industry. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. And um, yeah, we look forward to what is to come from that. Uh, ho hopefully we can hear back from you. Yeah, good, and we hope to see you all tomorrow at the opening as well. All right.